and my kings hello there hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel where we talk commentary where we do commentaries uh reviews and the vlogs so thank you so much if you are new here my name is mrs independent and please feel at home kindly subscribe and like the video so today uh hey we're talking about Senzo Mewa's trial. So it was going down. Uh, advocate, advocate Munisi and and the witness, Mamukhola, they were really spicy today. Ay, it was going down. But ge, uh, there are sad news again where we had that uh, advocate Mugome Zulu's house there were two people in the morning who were like walking around like looking suspicious and all that and they actually tried to jump into uh, his yard but the dogs barked and that pe those two people ran away and so the judge at the end of the court today he did mention that and he he Put it on record that uh, those people might have been there to harm um, Mr. Mgomezulo to kill him because he is doing his work as the officer of the court. So I remember on Monday when he was um, cross uh, cross examining Mohola, he did mention that he is going to call on uh, Longwe. Chico Twala and Ivan Koza, uh, they will be subpoenaed to come and testify at the court. And apparently last night or yesterday actually, there was an interview uh, at Kaya FM. They were interviewing Chico and Chico was so furious and uh, told them, told the Kaya FM that um, Gomezul is so incompetent uh, because now he's coming for him. Uh, why is he being dragged into this court, uh, into this case? And Senzo Mewa's brother doesn't want justice for his brother. So, yeah. I... <laughs> so you ask yourself, how could uh, Senzo brother not want justice for his brother? You know? Um, and and for him as well, if he wants justice, if he wants so-called justice for Senzo Meiwa, he wouldn't have a problem to go to court and say his piece and what he knows. And and that will be it because he will be helping the court to get to the right determination. So I don't see any problem for him to, to go to court, you know, and, and help the court to find justice for Senzo. Like he's saying, he's like in contact with Senzo's mom and and all that. So I don't I don't see any problem for him to be hostile, uh, when he heard that he's going to be subpoenaed to come to court. Oh so yeah, and people actually on Monday were saying, oh, um, Gomezul, you are going to be like this. Oh, don't mention names. Don't mention names. And look at this. It's only Wednesday today, and we have we have heard this now that suspicious people were lingering around his uh around his home and trying to jump into into the yard for what we don't know but at least it's out there people are aware now what's going on you know with that being said now we today's uh proceedings were spicy honestly and it was so disappointing to hear the investigating officer uh, not knowing so much about what is going on around the case like on the other video where I mentioned what she said and she still refers every question to Brigadier Geninda Brigadier Geninda will come and say Brigadier Geninda this and that and that but she was part of the of the investigating team 
and it was so disappointing to hear that you can go to court you can actually go to jail for things that you don't even know it, it is so disappointing to hear the whole police officer telling you that the, she was part of the investigative officer but there is nothing that she investigated she was only told to do this to do that and and that's it go to copies uh go to talk to uh, Madala, to Melo Madala only and that was it and the rest she was being briefed by uh her boss brigadier kininda so that's all she uh considered today that she she didn't verify the information that came from uh brigadier uh kininda everything that came from brigadier kininda she didn't even the one that she claimed that she uh verified she said i was told i was instructed to go to, to melo Mazala and and take statement but she doesn't even tell exactly what's in the in Dumero Madala statement she still doesn't know that so 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 disappointing honestly and and she for her to confirm again to say I didn't go and interview people who were in the house I didn't verify their information and the information that came from Brigadier Kininda. I didn't uh, go to uh, Senzo Meiwa's family and verify information. She said she doesn't know if the team went to the uh, family of Senzo Meiwa. Uh, she doesn't know if they went to the people who were in the house. She doesn't know that. But as for her, she didn't do that so let us not be like her if you are still here you're still watching and if you are new let us verify the numbers click the subscription button and like the video <laughs> that would be appreciated thank you and you know when there are so many revelations that are coming out you you really ask yourself like what's going on Come, can an investigation investigating officer forget to mention that when they arrested a suspect uh, they confiscated two phones uh, in uh, with in trial within trial she never mentioned that and now it came and she was given a tro an opportunity to say why didn't you mention that you you got uh, two cell phones from from him you confiscated and and what she said she said she doesn't have a reason why she didn't mention that she's not even say i forgot i omitted that or she said she doesn't have any reason why she didn't in you know uh put that on record or you know it's it's scary Ooh. she knows that uh, there is a mastermind and she mentioned the mastermind as kelly kumalo but she doesn't know the link between kelly and all <laughs> the sardines as as nisi said that there's a shark and sardines so she doesn't know the link between kelly and all the suspects who are in court you know and she is so proud to say uh, there's evidence if there was no evidence we could have we could have not been here but do you serve evidence that is um of no use or of no substance is is, is that good enough like um evidence that is not going to take anyone anywhere and that is wasting people's time and evidence that is ticking boxes only you're not even proud of your work you're just proud that there are people who are filling the seats in in the court and there's a judge who's sitting there who was in um retirement and they had to bring this person into uh, this case to assist but now your your evidence it does not lead anywhere it's a shame so now when advocate banway was re-examining her after um she concluded her uh Munis concluded their cross-examination and she was so alive she knew what was going on she could tell the court about information like she was so alive she knew now uh, what was going on and and i'm like yo ah yeah yeah the school was in session uh, advocate baloy was was in front of the class and the child sighed and she couldn't you know hold back uh, she was giving information like nobody's business but gay um we will hear what's
uh, what's going to happen tomorrow. But I Mnisi, she Mnisi, ah, yeah, yeah, Mnisi is a character. I like it when he, when he was asking Mohola about the mastermind. Like, you know that there was a mastermind. And this, can you tell the court who is the mastermind? Who are they? Is it a she or he or it? Uh, he was so sarcastic. Uh, he killed me when he says that. So yeah, let's wait and hear what's going to go what's happen tomorrow or what tomorrow holds for us. But we should pray for um, the advocates who are busy at work and pray for their lives, for them to be safe and their families. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think on the comment section below and please pray for for them um the advocates and their families to be safe thank you so much for watching and those who have subscribed thank you so much i see your effort and appreciate it thank you